Good morning everyone. I am just going to make an update to my previous video because I noticed something, uh, how should I say, cool or nifty uh, on my X1C. You can see I, I told you in the video yesterday about making uh, supports for 90 degrees um, filaments and on this one you can see on the on the perch tower that the top layer is is black. It's one black layer of top. So on the print itself it looks like this it's just one layer on the top is black and uh, on my original video where I showed that you could force a perch tower by using two different kinds of filament I had told you to put in a pause uh, if you don't do that you get an interesting result uh, the whole model will actually print in my case TPU uh, on the bottom part and black TPU yellow on the bottom part and black TPU on the top mm, sorry early in the morning um, and if you don't put a pause, this happens. It prints the entire model with the first original filament. And the result then is that, let's see, I will break it off. And the result is that you basically, it's hard to get it to focus. It will basically print the whole model with the first type of uh, filament that you have selected. Which is interesting because it means that you can, uh, if you only are going to print with one filament, you can, as I did in this case, I, I sliced, uh, I, I made it like the top part is, uh, I cut it off in fusion. And uh, so it's a separate part just a little bit cut off but it's imported on top of the original structure and I just gave that a different uh, color and TPU filament as well. So basically it will print both of the parts together but with the first filament as long as you don't put a pause. Which is kind of cool because it means you can force the prime tower uh, so you can have smooth and nice prints. I'm gonna show you. You see here this is when I have it it's so easy to remove the supports on this because I just did like that. And you can see like tiny tiny nudges of the where the supports were. But for me that's not necessary to remove. But if you wanted to remove that you can just you know um, sand it down or slice it gently off with a knife. But um, it, it's a nice way of actually being able to uh, have clean prints because you can see there is actually no other blobs or anything on the surface of this print. All you can see are the nudges. I have a different one here where I didn't use a perch tower and as you can see it is not at all as smooth. This is what happens when you don't use a perch tower. Because it will try to print and then it doesn't really have any... Uh, it's so hard. Yeah. So you get all these imperfections because it doesn't have a way of sort of cleaning or wiping the nozzle between each layer to avoid the oozing uh, when it changes from object to object. So. I'm really really happy with the way these came out, printing in TPU and the fact that they are actually only printed, both both parts are printed as one part and with just the original first filament. So yeah, uh, happily surprised how that came out and uh, I can only encourage all of you to use perch towers more. It uh, wastes maybe a little bit of filament, but it will make your prints look a lot easier if you are printing several objects on the same build plate. So, my advice to you, Perch Towers is nice. Uh, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe, and have a good one.